Okay, graphing the function. Now, if you notice, all these polynomials have been factored, or rather, the first two have, these haven't. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem here. Now, hopefully you can see zeros, or x-intercepts. What makes that zero? That's positive one, so I shall put it on the graph paper. Over here, can you see, that's negative two is a zero, so I'm going to put that on the graph paper. And, of course, here, when the x by itself factored out, you don't have to worry about the number, x equals zero, remember that? Now, if you were to multiply everything together, can you see this is an x cubed polynomial? So, one, two, three, x cubed. And it's positive. In other words, n behaviour, remember we talked about n behaviour, should be like that. What happens in between? You can find out. Okay, so... Oh, by the way, also remember this, that when you have an x-intercept of 0, you also have the y-intercept of 0, OK? Right, so I'm just going to draw this. Da -da 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 -da. Hit that, hit that. Ah! Kind of, I've just totally missed them all, but kind of something like that, OK? Hitting the... What? Maybe I should just totally do that again. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Uh, ah! Dog's barking. And there we go. OK? So that's what that should look like. Um, now, I'm just going to add this to you. Suppose you have something like this x minus 1, x plus 2, x minus 3. Suppose you had something like that. Well, you've still got zeros, x-intercepts, of positive 1, negative 2, and positive 3. But the y-intercept uh, is, don't forget what y-intercepts are, when x equals 0, you get a y-intercept. So when x equals 0, you've got negative 1, because 0 take away 1 is negative 1. Can you see 0 plus 2 is positive 2, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So in other words, the y-intercept of this would be negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. It would be positive 6. You would do that, okay, for this example. But most of the time, like this one here, when you've got an x of 0, the y-intercept is also 0. So just remember things like that. If you don't, um, you actually have to work out what the y-intercept is by putting x equal to 0. It's easy to see the x-intercept, but not as easy to see the y-intercept. Anyway, I'm going to do one of these that needs factoring. OK, so again, it's a positive x cubed. N behaviour will be something like that. OK, now, what can we factor out of x cubed minus 4x squared? We can factor an x squared out. And we're left with x minus 4, OK? So x minus 4. Now, can you see now it looks like, you know, these two up here. So we have a 0 of 4. I'll put that there. And we've got two, now remember this one, we've got two x-intercepts or zeros of zero. Remember when it's just by itself in front? That's x equals zero. So, so normally I would say it should have three x-intercepts. Okay, well I can only see two here, of course, on the graph. Um, but then don't forget the zero is repeated, so it just have three. So to draw that, remember, again, rises to the right. And don't forget touches and turns when you've got an even amount of solutions, multiplicity 2 or multiplicity 4. That's what that should look like, okay?